Welcome back, everybody. It's exciting because I think, oh no, this is airing right now. Right now, it's V Cup. So if you're watching this, go to Hoop Dome, I believe, and there's ter- there's games happening, there's players to watch, but we're with Mark Sweetie, so there's a lot of Filipino basketball tournaments happening this month and in the coming months. So let's get some teasers. V Cup, <laughs> let's talk about your role in V Cup. What are you doing in V Cup, Mark? In V Cup, well, I'm, I'm coaching Philak, you know, always. <laughs> um, yeah. I got two teams always. in, yeah. uh, one in 99 division, another one in open, and both teams were coming for the trip. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's plain and simple, man. That's yeah, it. There's, okay, that's, that's, there's nothing more to it. Yeah. That's all it is. You did say that some of your players are kind of like um, they're in different teams. What's your approach now? I guess because you because behind the scenes you said it's 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 go for it or nothing, right? Mm-hmm. It's like yeah. Well, that's that's always the mentality. But yeah, we do. We are missing a few guys, but our main cores are stuff. Krishan, we still have Noah, stuff Irwin. And then we, we've added some savvy vets. Um, I can't say I don't know, you just have to wait and see, but oh, I'm, I, I still okay. feel great about it. Like obviously the competition in V Cup is always great. They always have the best Filipino ballers in the area, mm-hmm. but I'm still confident as always. With your coaching, like what's your, what's your style in terms of how do you usually have your, what type of offense you usually like to run for your players? Uh, how do you usually like to have, you know, defense? What's your main type of defense that you usually use during games? Um, well, for offense, like I just, I just like to see what the other team is giving us, right? If they're giving us a man, they're giving us a zone, whatever it is. And my thing is just I always look for a mismatch because when you have Filipino ball, like you have like four or five guys that are always guards, right? So a lot of five out, a lot of driving kicks, and yeah, we just look look for the mismatch and attack it. And on the defensive end, I like to go man because I don't know, like zone, like. It doesn't, it doesn't prepare people for real life basketball. Like yeah. we have a lot of Filipino kids growing up. Like they have all the tools here to be successful outside of Filipino ball, but they're used to growing up playing zone their whole life. So like you, you take a kid playing zone from grade one to grade 12, but then you throw them in college, they're all playing man and he gets lost. So yeah. whenever I'm coaching, I like to go man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who, do you, who do you feel is your, your top team that's the com- competitor for you? Like who do you, who are you? hoping to see in the finals, or who do you really want to knock out? Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's we'll start with 99. So 99 have a few good teams. They have mm-hmm. a motion marksman. They have, um, that's Matthew Davis. So Ateneo, Matthew yeah. Davis, like, like co- I've coached him before, and now it's good to coach against him too. And um, Mark Guam's team, uh, Crane Toronto. So those are two teams that are arguably, that, that could probably meet us in the finals or somewhere in the playoffs, mm-hmm. and they'd be a good competition for us. And for the Open, um, you know, we, like last year, all our games in open, they were good. Like yeah. Vaughn gave us trouble. Like shout out Dwayne, he's a great coach. Um, this year, um, Brandon, Brandon's always giving us trouble because yeah. Brandon's mm-hmm. a beast. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, there's a few, there's a few other guys out there, but like I'm not, I'm not sure who they're playing with yet. But yeah, yeah there's a few other people out there that come to mind. What does this mean to you if you know Victoria Cup technically almost kind of starting the summer hall of tournaments? Uh, what does it mean to you to win this first tournament and set the tone? basically for whatever divisions you guys are going to play. Well, you guys are going to keep playing open, but set the tone for all the tournaments that are, are to follow. Well, no, yeah, it's, it's a good feeling to, to get the first one, especially because V-Cup, that's arguably, it's like the most competitive one, arguably. Mm. And then, yeah, now we just go, yeah, we win this, we win this one, and then we go to Durham. We go to Durham, we take that one, and then just you keep batting. It's just, it's just a good feeling. And then it gives us a confidence boost saying, hey, guys, we won this one. Why can't we win the next one and the next one and the next one? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For sure. All right, let's move on to the other big events coming up. So you're part of organizing committee for M Cup, I think, is the first yes. one coming up. So talk about M Cup. What's in the works? If you can say some stuff, some teasers, um, it's a little bit of teaser. Yeah. But what can all these youth expect or parents expect when they come to such an event? Well, it's just, shout out. It's going to be a great event. Like we have, yeah. Without saying too much, we got some some NBA guests. Ooh. We got some celebrities. We got. We're gonna be using the cage for other special events such as we're gonna have some break dancing, we're gonna have some, some other uh, mini programs for players that aren't participating in tournaments. And we just, yeah, we're just making the whole tournament, instead of it's just a basketball tournament, we're making it like an event event. Mm-hmm. Like there's something for everybody, even if you're not playing. Mm-hmm. Especially in Hoop Dome, because Hoop Dome, the only got four courts, and there's also that you know smaller court on the yeah, other yeah. side. So us- utilizing everything would be, would definitely be great for uh, M Cup as well. Man, I can't wait, I remember yeah. the, f- was it a V Cup or M Cup? I think M Cup was the first last tournament one. that we uh, first one or last one yeah. that we went to. Yeah, we went. Yeah. Sure. Either way. Either way. Yeah, it was a, it's a good time. <laughs> so it's great that uh, a organization or like a board like people is coming together for such a great event because it's been a long time since 
uh, youth, youth and like new ideas have been mm -hmm. infused into mm -hmm. that tournament. Mm -hmm. And speaking about new ideas, there's that, you know, at City Hall, talk about, what's it called again, sorry? Battle 416. Battle 416. So what's the, what was the brainchild of that, or who, who came together for that idea to come about? Well, you got to give that one, I got to give that one to, to Clyde yeah. and Drew Ebanks of On Point Basketball. Yeah. Those two guys, that's, that's really their thing. And yeah, August 24, 25, 26, it's going down in City Hall. Just, just know, basketball, basketball fans got to be there. Oh. Can't, can't reveal too much at this point, but <laughs> yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be just, one just of the... Just come downtown, man. Yeah, just, no, why not? It's, it's, it's going to be a nice summer day. Nice city hall, yeah. Maybe some basketball, That's who knows? Classified stuff. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be coaching. You're not going to be playing. What are you going to be? Well, my playing days are done there. <laughs> <laughs> coaching, coaching I might, Yeah, I might, might throw in a team. I might, or I might, I might be too busy doing some of the back of house stuff, but yeah. I'll be there for sure, yeah. Uh -huh. What a, like what, what a great great time for basketball, yeah. especially just summer. The, this is like great, yeah. the trend and everything. After, yeah. All the Canadian basketball players that are, they're doing well, and then yeah. you have the Filipino basketball basketball tournaments bigger. that are happening. Yeah. It's such an exciting time, and I can't wait because there's and hey, there was the the team that went to the Philippines that got offered, and a lot of people mm -hmm. are getting offers too. Like your players also mm -hmm. got offers. Uh, if you can mention the names of the people that have interest. Yeah, shout out Jeremiah Brown, shout yeah. out Noah Corvesi. They just uh, came back from a trip recently and they did pretty well. Yeah. Uh -huh. But yeah, I can't reveal too much, but like those guys did great out there. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's always great seeing that, you know, yeah. people going to people yeah. going to the Philippines and Success showcasing. stories, basically. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely but that is the goal of our show is to showcase and, exp and, and get shout out Filipino Canadians that are doing, and you know, that are, Expo and playing well in the Philippines or mm -hmm. playing well in here or playing in the U.S., getting scholarships or getting all these acceptance letters from different schools, Philippines or U.S. or in Canada. That's, mm -hmm. That is the goal, right? And we're seeing more of it now. Yeah, I, it's, I, like, I can't wait to see some Phil, another Philcan yeah. do well in the, Philippi in the Philippines yes. or even just a, a Philcan do well in the NCAA. Yeah. Someone going to the NCAA, I don't know what's happening to, uh, what's his name, Christian David. But uh, he's on, what, is it Butler? Butler yeah, I think he's on he's Butler. Butler so. now. And it's cool because we, we, I think I, I watched Christian David playing in a Filipino tournament. So imagine mm -hmm. if you're a spectator watching someone in a Filipino tournament and then suddenly yeah, you see them playing on higher team, level. Yeah. Higher level and stuff. Mm -hmm. What would you like to say? You coach a lot of, I guess, you, yeah, you coach a lot of high level people now. So what would you like to say to any youth that are, I guess, preparing for V Cup right now or preparing for tournaments? What should they work on and what do you look for as a coach? Like, what do you mean? Like, if I'm if I'm trying to like get a player on my team, and like, what do I like from them? Or like, you're trying to develop a, a good youth player. Okay. Like you said, you said how they yeah. they're like playing advice. three yeah. two zone, and then yeah. now they're going playing man to man. Yeah. But what else? Well, just to just to have an all around game, because like I get it, Filipinos are short. Yeah. They they have guard skills, but like you you can't just stand a three point line all day. You can't just practice you know, like they got to play defense. Like you got mm -hmm. you have to be gritty because. Yeah, Christian Davis is six seven, six eight, but how many other guys are like five ten, five nine? Mm -hmm. Like when you get to when guys if guys want to play at a higher level and they, they max out at five ten, you, you can't take any plays off. You have to guard the guy full court, half court. Like you have to be you have to be a Marcus Smart, a Terry Rosier. Mm -hmm. Because at five ten and you could shoot and dribble, but there's like twelve other guys that are six two that could do the same thing. Yeah. So you can't take yeah, my advice for young guys trying to come up, you can't take any plays off. Mm -hmm. Look at that, that's good. And prepare yeah. for that physicality, man. Filipino <laughs> basketball, Filipino tournaments are physical. <laughs> a lot of drama, too, and Ooh. a lot of talking, too, so that, that's good. Anything you'd like to say before we end the show, Mark? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the tournament, Victoria. And mm -hmm. if you're playing, kids, play well, and I hope you win a championship. And follow us on our Instagram page, Pinot Crossover, Twitter also, and our Facebook page as well. Yeah, we'll awesome be there. stuff. Yeah. There? You guys will be there for Victoria Cup. Yeah. You know, thanks for Mark for joining us. You know, I also have my documentary out, Phil Can't Come Up Basketball Documentary. Go check that out, share. All all of these guys are on there as well. Mm. So yeah. check that out, man. And sweetie, what would you like um, to shout out? No, uh, just shout out to you guys for having me back here again. And uh, shout out to Jay. I watched the documentary. It's pretty it's pretty good stuff. Thank like you, it's you. it's if you guys wanna learn about pretty much Filipino ball in the GTA, then that's one of the things you gotta check out. And that's what's up. Hey guys, sun's out, guns <laughs> oh out. I God. just had to do that. Like, like, <laughs> the sun's out, guns out. Hey, and if you're getting prepared for this summer haul of all these basketball tournaments, you know, practice and we'll see you there. Guys, stay balling.